Hi, today we're gonna to make my favorite lip balm ever. Pink, pink lip balm, but also these are great little presents as party favors for going home bags after, after birthday parties. So I'm gonna make 16 today, which is quite a lot, but all you need are, this is beeswax, beeswax palettes. Absolutely lovely smell, goodness, wonderful. Cocoa butter, again, in palettes, you can get it in big chunks, you have to hack it off. I prefer using palettes because it's easier. And then you need your oil. Now, you can use castor oil, you can use different types of oil, but I think sunflower oil is, is great, and it does the job. So for this number of quantities, you need to have a scale that works. <laughs> So to make 16 lip balms, you need to have 48 grams of cocoa butter, which is about a little bit more. So that's your cocoa butter. Pop it into your pan. Now you need a little bit less beeswax because beeswax gives your lip balm the firm consistency. And if you put too much in, it can just be too firm. And then you don't get that lovely creaminess. The cocoa butter gives you that wonderful creaminess and moisturizing, which you really need in your lips. So for the beeswax, you want 36 grams. So a little bit less, it's not much at all. That will take a little bit longer to melt. And then for the oil, 100 mils of sunflower oil. I always use one of these because I like the measurements, but you can use any kind of measuring house. So it's about that much. Okay, pour that in and then you let this melt on a very low heat, okay? Because you do not want that oil to get hot. You do not want it to burn. But for younger kids, I think it's quite nice just to kind of make them all yourself in advance. So this amount of beeswax will take a good few minutes to uh, melt and then you get that wonderful golden colour. Now you can just keep your lip balms like that. I'm going to do just a couple like this so you can see what a lovely kind of clear, nourishing, natural lip balm will be like. And it doesn't even need any smell because the, the smell of the, um, the beeswax and the cocoa butter together is so wonderful. So then now colour. So I always use mica colour. Now, I don't know if you can see these. These are all the different colours that mica can do. Mica is totally natural, although it has gone through a heat process. And it comes from the rocks. You know when you go on a walk and you see the kind of like the mother of pearl, kind of shaly kind of rocks? That, that's what the basis of mica is. And then they're heat treated to get those wonderful different colours. And it's all the mineral makeup that's all the rage at the moment. So this is what they're using. So you can make your very own totally natural. Now, they all come out slightly differently. This is my favorite, the pink one. And I think this is the greatest for most lips it looks the best on. And for this number lip balm, 16, you only need, you know, it's probably like, see that is just like a teaspoonful or so. And I'm sprinkling it into there. So you can see all that going in and then I'm going to stir it all in. And you really need to stir it in quite well. You really need to make sure it's all totally absorbed by the beeswax and the cocoa butter. Can you see that lovely glossy shine you're going to get? So this is all the pink mica mixed in. You can see it's lovely and glossy and has a really wonderful sheen to it. And I'm just going to pour all these into these little pots here. Um, having a pan with a lip makes a big difference and a steady hand helps and these won't take long to dry so that's why I said if you want to do it as a party activity for obviously the right age kids um, they'll be dry by the time it's a going home present so it's a great thing to do for girls about 10 I'd say to make some little lip balms gives them something to do, there's really clear instructions if you want to use the kit and they can just follow the instructions and they get a great sense of satisfaction having made their own lip balms they can then give to all their friends. A couple of 
couple of safety points. If you are doing this with children, they do need adult supervision, please, because you are dealing with hot oil. Although, I always like to say I can generally try to touch the pan. You really do not want to get it any hotter than that. Um, and cleaning up. As you can see, this beeswax already starts to, to set. So you get that lovely kind of balm ready. But you don't want to put that down your kitchen sink. So do wipe your pans with kitchen roll. So now all your lip balms are lovely and dry, and they're hard, pop the little lids on. Sometimes they need a little bit of wipe around the edge. As you can see, I've spilt a little bit. And then I love, depending on the age of the child, putting little stickers on, on them, little initials if it's for them. Or if they're slightly older, I customize little homemade labels here. And we can, you can get all these on my website. And then you, with the marker pens, it's really fun just to kind of, you know, put lots of who it's by so you can go if it's the girls party homemade by rose and if it's for the child in the class you can do all that and then if you are making the lip balms as an activity within the party then the girls can actually do all this themselves and they can be super creative and <laughs> so my dog miss me um i'm gonna make a lip balm <laughs> and then this um, this party bag, you can then get a lovely, uh, in our, in our, again on our website we sell these little cellophane bags, they're all made from corn, all biodegradable, so you've made a totally natural lip balm with natural cocoa butter, natural beeswax, natural sunflower oil, natural colour and even the gift bag is natural. <laughs>